I want to talk about a central idea, which is the canonical commutation relations. So recall our operators x hat and p hat, which operate on wave functions, so that x hat times psi is x psi, uh, and similarly p hat times psi is, well, it's minus i h bar d by dx of psi, by what we mean by p hat for the p hat operator. Uh, one question we get asked is, do operators commute? So uh, let's just take a review of things that do and do not commute. So recall that real and complex numbers do in fact commute, by which I mean a times b is equal to b times a. The order doesn't matter. Matrices, however, do not in general commute which you can see very quickly by taking two uh, arbitrary matrices, A times B is not the same thing as B times A, where A and B are matrices. What about operators? Is X hat times P hat the same as P hat times X hat? Or, let me say that another way, is X hat P hat minus P hat X hat equal to zero? If it is, then they commute. If it's not equal to zero, then they don't commute. Um, in order to make sense of this, though, we should have these operating on a wave function. That's the only sense in which we know what operators are. So um, to answer this question, let's operate them on wave functions. So let's take x hat p hat minus p hat x hat operating on a wave function. So let's distribute that through. So it's x hat p hat psi minus p hat x hat psi. And then writing out the operator. So x hat p hat is minus i h bar d by dx, so that's d psi dx, minus minus i h bar d by dx of x times psi. Okay, so the first term is fine, but the second term I have to distribute the derivative through onto the x and the psi by the product rule. And so for the first term, I have minus i h bar x d psi dx plus i h bar psi plus i h bar x d psi dx. Okay, so the first and the last terms cancel, and I'm left over with this extra term, this i h bar psi. So x hat p hat minus p hat x hat psi is i h bar psi. Or said another way, um, they don't commute. This is not zero. So x hat and p hat are not commuting. So they're not like normal numbers in that sense. Uh, we commonly write this combination as the commutator. So in particular, we use square brackets x hat comma p hat. And by that, we mean x hat p hat minus p hat x hat. That's just what we mean by that commutator language. Actually, in general, this is true um, for any two operators, we'll say, square brackets a comma b a hat b hat is a hat b hat minus b hat a hat it's the commutator between those two operators okay so this relationship that we just found um, we would say that the commutator between x hat and p hat is i h bar note that we say this um, it really should be operating on a wave function to make sense this is commonly called the canonical commutation relation um, and it's central to quantum mechanics, and in fact, uh, many people start with this as an axiom of quantum mechanics.